Hello? In this video, I will discuss the most important aspects of conducting classes with Classwise. To demonstrate various possibilities, I will discuss using ready-made presentations in biology classes, educational games in computer science classes, and quizzes in maths and physics classes. A quick reminder that you can assign projects in the library to four different lesson stages. Introduction, Memorization, Revision, and Summary. This way, it is easier to assess the use of the material. Let's move on to the library. Using the internal search feature, I look for a resource, for example, about reptiles. I check the information on the thumbnails and choose the one that will help me introduce a new topic in my biology class. The detailed preview helps me verify that the project meets my requirements. To start the presentation, simply click the Run button. The materials include clear and concise images to help convey important information. In addition, there are lots of useful tidbits and interactive elements. This varied content helps students retain the most important information and increase their attention span. You can abort any presentation by pressing the X button on the bottom bar or the Escape key on your keyboard. Let's move on to the next project. As a computer science teacher, I am interested in projects from this category. I want to share online safety information in an interesting way, for example, through a game with my students. Before the start of a game, you will see a start screen. The following information appears here. The number of questions for this topic. Their number determines the maximum number of rounds in the game. You can then choose from a selection of games. Select the desired settings below. These may vary depending on the game you have selected. For the Minds Battle, eight rounds are recommended for a class of 20 students. You need class pads to play games. Please click the blue button to get them ready. Class pads could go into sleep mode to conserve battery power. Briefly pressing the button on the base wakes all those inserted in the docking station. To wake a single class pad from sleep mode, press any button on it. The app will remind you to first distribute the devices to the students and ensure each student has received their assigned device. If all goes well, students confirm they are ready by pressing any button on the class pad. I will show you how this works in a moment. As the devices are distributed, I see that their status keeps changing to active on the students list. When you have distributed them all, ask the students to check that their devices show the light patterns as shown next to their names on the screen. If so, confirm readiness. When all the students are ready, you can start the game. At the beginning, you will see a brief explanation of the rules. Then, step by step, you will see a range of game mechanics to get students excited and engaged. Each game has a different premise, dynamic and visual style. The same set of questions can be used in any of the available games, giving you more flexibility to choose the form that suits the lesson and your students. Let's move on to the next project. For quizzes, the start screen looks a bit different. Some projects have more than one series of questions. For example, at the beginning and at the end of a lesson. At the top, you see how many series and questions there are. Then, you choose the class you are about to test. Select the quiz mode below. The first is the default mode, which makes gamification a priority. In this mode, the answer must be correct and fast. The time for the answer counts. This mode works best as a standard knowledge test in the form of a competition. The second mode, the short test, is much simpler and focuses on student assessment. The test results come up at the very end. You do not see interim results or anything else that might distract or stress the students during the test. The last quiz option, custom, allows you to customize the rules to suit your needs. Let's see how the default mode works. In the center, you will see the question, a timer underneath, and the number of answers already given. Below 
are possible answers. The layout corresponds to the buttons and backlighting on class pads. When the time is up, or all students have given their answers, the statistics and the correct answer are displayed on the screen. At this point, you can explain why this answer is the right one. Then, you move on to intermediate scores. For each correct answer, a student can earn between 500 and 1,000 points, depending on the speed of their answers. The next available option is the true-false type of questions. Only the top two buttons on the class pads will be activated. There are two additional options on the screen. Using the first one, you can shorten the time to give your answer. The second allows you to skip the question altogether and no one will receive points for it. At the end of the quiz, you will see the podium, followed by the final ranking screen. To see the results of all the games and quizzes you have played so far, go to the main menu and select the Students tab. And that's all you need to know to use Classwise. Thank you for your time. I hope you will also watch the other video tutorials to learn how to create your own projects and explore more advanced Classwise features. See you soon.